Predatory pricing occurs when a seller lowers its prices to a level that forces competitors out of the market so that the seller can later increase its prices and profit from reduced competition. Although there's no federal statute explicitly prohibiting predatory pricing, lowering prices below costs may implicate many different antitrust causes of action, including actions under the Sherman Antitrust Act and the Robinson-Patman Act. In the 1993 Brook Group Limited v. Brown & Williamson Tobacco Corporation, the United States Supreme Court considered whether a cigarette company could prevail in its antitrust claim based on predatory pricing. In 1980, the Liggett & Myers Tobacco Company, which later became Brook Group Limited, began selling generic cigarettes at significantly lower prices than prevailing brand-name cigarettes, such as Marlboro. One of Liggett's primary products were black and whites, which were generic cigarettes in plain white packaging with black letting. In 1984, Brown & Williamson Tobacco Group entered the generic cigarette market and began selling their own black and white cigarettes. Upon entering the market, Brown not only beat Liggett's prices, but offered larger volume discounts to wholesalers. In response, Liggett increased its wholesale rebates on cigarettes, which started a price war between the companies. Liggett then filed a complaint against Brown in federal district court based on trademark infringement and unfair competition. In addition, Liggett amended its complaint to add antitrust claims based on illegal price discrimination and predatory pricing. The case proceeded to trial, and a jury returned a verdict in favor of Liggett for $49.6 million, which was trebled to $148.8 million. Subsequently, after reviewing the record, the court found that Brown was entitled to judgment as a matter of law on Liggett's antitrust claims. Specifically, the court found that there was no slowing of the growth rate of generic cigarettes, and thus no injury to competition, unless there had been tacit coordination of prices, which a jury couldn't have found existed. Liggett appealed to the Fourth Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court then granted cert.